everybody. Frank back here with you. Welcome to week three of Flavor of the Day. As you can see by the, let's see if I can get that right, the logo. This week we're doing Wonder Flavors. We're doing all the Wonder Flavors candies. Wonder Flavors make some great candies. And we're going to do, I have 21 of them. So over this past week, this next week, we're going to go through all 21 of them and see what they're like. Now let's not waste a whole lot of time chit-chatting. Let's go down and go through these and we'll show you a couple recipes and we'll take it from there. All right, let's go everybody. Alrighty gang, here we go. First one we're gonna start off with is apple gummy candy. Here's some notes on it. Uh, session drummer, apple gummy candy, three and a half percent, single flavor, and apple day, not being a huge a apple vapor. I'm always curious as to the next apple flavor, just to see if it can really win them over. This one presented as an almost perfect half between a green apple and a gummy candy, literally 50 50. You know, I'm finding myself wanting more of the apple, continue vaping it. And, didn't really increase it to my taste because the apple was roughly even with the gummy profile. It was harder to pick out what type of apple, green, red, medley, etc. But with the tart punchy, the tarty punch he was getting, he'll go with the green apple. The gummy candy portion was actually good and was convincing. Sweetness was about mid-level and there was distinct tart notes in there that helped round it out. After the gummy candy midsection, and yeah, round it out after the gummy candy midsection. Continuing through the tank, I became convinced that if you really wanted to showcase this as an apple, you'll have to boost it with another apple or two at three and a half percent. It appeared to be appeared somewhat laid back, but not disjointed, no real takeoffs. But for the lower than expected apple notes, it's a good vape, but it needs help to make it pop. Continue vaping it a little more bright notes on the finish, which added to the sour aspect of it. Taking off because of reduced apple is six and a half out of ten is what he gives it. Prefer a single flavor three and a half. Here's another mixer, C X X X P. It says he used at one percent a green apple gummy. Any higher he found off notes were present soapy, but at one percent it brings an authentic apple gummy flavor. He used flavor sour apple to give it a boost. It probably won't be very versatile, but it does do its one job well. It brings a thick, chewy, and Big, thick, and chewy gummy. Fairly soft. It needs some help. In a great addition, you can use it in perhaps in other gummy recipes to boost the texture where a light apple note won't be a problem. And he likes it. Most commonly used with sweetener, boysenberry raspberry, sour apple, sour blue ras candy, pear, sweetener, cooling agent, blue ras liquid barn, raspberry jelly bean, and sour gummy candy. Let's pull up, let's see, let's find the top rated recipes. There's not many, because this is a newer flavor. There's only 12 public recipes, 94 private. And it's about to be 13 public, because I have one that I'm getting ready to publish. I'm going to share that with you here. Let's see, we got Granny's Green Apple Gummies. This is by that CXXXP. He used TFA Tart Green Apple at one half. He used the Apple Gummy Candy at one. Flavor Cream at one. Fuji Apple at one. Granny Smith at 1.5, 1.25 from Flavor, Red Apple and Sour Apple, 0.5 and 2.5 respectively. Has some notes on it, talking about all the different flavors and what he gets from them. Not bad looking mix. Let's see, we'll go back and we got Fresh Used It, October of 2020. Caramel apple ice, apple cider ice cream. Used apple cider at 0.8. Flavor apple filling at 0.8. The apple gum candy 1.2. Flavor West butterscotch at 0.6. Crisp waffle from SSA at 0.5. The milky caramel fudge at 1.5 and 5% vanilla ice cream. A nice sweet apple and caramel ice cream in a waffle cone. Yep. Makes sense. I mean, it's basically what it is. I mean, that waffle cone is very convincing. Uh, El Vaporino. Blue Squalor, he uses it at 1.4 with liquid barn blue raz, boysenberry raspberry, cooling agent, pear, sour apple from Flavoris, sour blue raspberry can, 
blue raspberry candy from Wonder Flavors at three. It's an older flavor, so name super concentrated and half percent of sweetener. He goes into talks about it's not bad looking. I don't I can't mix it, I don't have all the flavors, but I do have a decent bit of them. I'm missing yeah, I'm missing about three of them. That's alright. I don't do the cooling that well anyway. Let's see, Sam used it. The formless eternal gummy. I saw this mix is very interesting. He uses it at 1.5, uses the blueberry gummy candy at four. The frog gummy at 0.5, marshmallow gooey at 0.75, peach gummy candy 0.75, strawberry gummy candy at 4, and sweetener at 0.5. Basically, you get you know a whole bunch of gummy candies that get stuck in a hot car and turn into one giant gummy, all different flavors. That's what he is going for there. I'm gonna go ahead, double check. Yep, here is mine. I'm going to make sure it's going to come up. The Complete Apple Gummy. I use a 1.5. I use Flavor Art Caramel at 0.5. This is a trick I learned from uh, the Juice Fairy, where she uses this to get more texture out of the gummy. Sweet Candy at 0.5. Sweetener at 0.5. And two apples to boost up that apple note at 1. Uh, off the shake, this turned out pretty good. And... Uh, yeah, we'll see how we'll see how it plays out. All right, and the next one we're going to go to, we're going to go ahead is going to be the blueberry gummy candy. This one came out about a year or so ago. Uh, let's see some quick notes on it. Rin says tastes like what it is a blueberry gummy, but for me the gummy notes come across as more of a jam or a glaze. Uh, let's see. Nick Binding tested at six percent with a recurve, shake and vape, slight blueberry taste with slight floral notes. Not that gummy. Not a big fan of it. Let's see. Most commonly used with sweetener, flavor West gummy. I mean, flavor West blueberry to boost up the blueberry notes. Sweet candy from Capella to sour blue rice candy. Yes, we cheesecake. Uh, blue raspberry from Liquid Barn, cheesecake graham crust at, and let's see, boysenberry fl flavora, vanilla swirl, and sweetener. Let's check out some top rated recipes. See, this is only 21 public recipes on this, and this one is 341 private. Is it once again? It is a newer flavor. Came out, uh, 2019. I think this one actually came out. Let's see. Tam has the top rated recipe, the blue slush, slush gummy she made in July of last year. Liquid born blue raz at six. Use the blueberry gummy candy at four. Boysenberry at a quarter. She used some cooling agent, hibiscus candy at one. Another flavor I don't have. Uh, sour lemon vape train at 0.75. Perellum super sweet. And he, she also used the sweet candy. A nice picture of it. Nice little reviews. Good looking mix there by Tam. Uh, let's see. And we got Sam with Blue Aceto. He uses it at two with TFA Dragon Fruit and Sour Blue Raz Candy at five. So he use, he's using basically to help boost that up. Uh, three quarter percent sweetener, sweet and sour rhubarb at two, and sweet candy as well at 0.5. Let's see. Joel O. 75 uses it at four no yep four percent with blueberry candy flavor west blueberry and we're a cactus grape soda from flavor west rat rainbow candy so it's like a skittles from capella and a lot of sweetener one and a quarter flavor west sweetener but it is a candy so i totally see that happening uh let's see ruggly blueberry vanilla gummy candy he this was part of this might be season one and there's video there you can check out here's just a simple three flavor mix uses it at five with marshmallow vanilla and vanilla swirl he says basically you know, it's pretty solid let's see toony uses it in january of 2020 in chameleon custard 
Use it with the Malaysian guava. Use it the blueberry gum candy at 0.9, Malaysian guava at 0.6, juicy strawberry 0.9, vanilla custard 2.4. They're all from the same, uh, same release. So he did that. Fresh used it in breakfast nookie. We can use it with the Bavarian cream, flapper pie, and strawberry juicy. He uses the blueberry at two and a 6.7 flavor mix. And let's see, check out Dave Flowers. He's using it in contest mix. He's using it 2.75, using the candy stick, gushy fruit candy, using sour blue rasp candy, and super sweet. What we got here, let's see, check out some notes. Session drummer, three and a half percent tested it. Citrus and gummy, who'd, who'd think it, thunk it? Uh, well, they nailed it for what it's worth. Citrus didn't present an overly complex mix with a simple lemon lime with a splash of orange that you can almost taste of citrus oil in the exhale, but just barely. The gummy slid in the rear of the vape. It sounds kind of dirty. And was somewhat overshadowed by the citrus notes but still present three and a half percent proved to leave this one just strong enough without being overbearing and the mid-level sweetness. It played nicely. Nothing complex here, but it is what it claims to be seven and a half out of 10. Most commonly used with sweetener, tropical gummy candy, five fruits, raspberry, jelly bean, pure mint lemonade, lime from Flavora, flavor art, pineapple and kiwi. Only five public recipes on this one. Nothing rated. Oh, uh, see, I used it. I'll check out mine. Made this last summer. This turned out to be an okay mix. I mean, nothing, nothing's going to you know, knock your socks off. I used it at two. Used the uh, boysenberry raspberry, which I'm sorry, I used the gummy candy at one. I used a citrus drink at two. Passion fruit at a half. Tropical gummy candy 1.5, which is another one we're going to get to. And that one's going to be in tomorrow's video. So, what I did here, no one has rated it. And we have Tony Vapes, Tony Passion Heaven. All wonder flavors with some sweetener. He used the apple at two point apple gummy at 2.4 used the citrus 1.6 raspberry jelly bean 3.2 half percent sweetener and tropical gummy candy at 2.4 turned out pretty decent he says made the all i got was passion fruit amazing the flavor is spot on for passion fruit so he's kind of built a passion fruit gummy uh, let's see, Toonie, Five Alive Berry Blast, VSO Apple, VSO Black Current, Citrus Gummy Candy at 0.6, Red Raspberry 0.6, Shisha Black Current 0.3, and Strawberry from VSO at 1. And let's see, Sir Mix a Lot, which is Mark Sr., he used it. Yeah. He used the uh, five fruit citrus drink at 1.7, used the gummy candy at 1, used tropical gummy candy at 1.5, and he used three quarter percent sweetener. Basically, a five alive drink that he used it to help boost up the drink. All right, next and the last one for this video is going to be going to be root beer float gummy candy. This is brand new. Just uh, just came out this week. No notes for it yet. No public recipes yet, and only not much going on here. Let's see, we use with vanilla ice cream, fizzy cola, fizz pop, the Italian vanilla gelato, jelly candy, SSA cola, whipped cream, from Wonder Flavors. Just another new one, fizzy sherbet sweetener, and a cola gummy candy, which is another one we're going to talk about tomorrow. So not much to tell there. So let's go back up top and let's see, we'll say here's the uh, root beer, root beer float gummy candy. What I smell from this and give it a little shake. I've had it, but I haven't used it yet. 
you get definitely that root beer, that anise note from a root beer, that black, you know, like black licorice. Uh, it's hard to, you know, it's hard to smell gummy, but it, I mean, it definitely root beer is definitely there. So still have to do some testing on it, but I probably want to talk about it briefly. And that's it for this one, guys. I say we got 21 we're going through. There's the first four. And tomorrow we're going to bring you the rest of the gummy candies. We will get into the rest of them. Okay. Right, See you tomorrow. Wash your hands. Be, be safe. Wash your hands. Don't talk strangers. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Bye.